There we go. That's just started. And go. Yep. All right. I'm here with my nephew, Armand, backing out of the garage now. I am going to teach him today in the snow a little bit how to drive this Bronco, which is a manual transmission Bronco. All right, let's go. All right, so I'm here with my uncle and we're about to go to an empty lot. And in this video, I'm gonna uh, take videos of him, of his feet on the pedals and try and learn. And then I will go and drive uh, in the same empty parking lot and try to replicate what he what he did and then we're gonna go off-roading after so we'll see you guys there yeah all right so um, right now we're in Northville uh, I'm cruising along in fourth gear um, when we're in the empty parking lot we'll probably be in first and second gear I'm basically gonna show uh, Armand how to do the clutch and how to sort of coordinate that with the gears. Um, this process uh, is not overnight. I mean, it's not, it, it, you know, for some people um, it might take a little while and that's fine. It took me a while um, uh, to learn the manual transmission, but um, it's definitely worth it. It's sort of like riding to learn, learning how to ride a bike. So you learn how to ride a bike and then you don't forget how to do it afterwards. So, um, you know, hopefully this process uh, is similar uh, to that. If you're interested in getting a Bronco and uh, you're interested in getting a manual transmission, hopefully this video will be helpful to you to sort of decide whether it's worth that learning curve versus getting an automatic transmission. All right, so we found a really good spot. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip this around. I'm gonna flip this around. Okay, I'm gonna, I flipped it around. Here is my nephew. Um, he's taking a video of, uh, of us. I, this, this lot's really cool. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try to do a donut. Hopefully I don't get in trouble for this. Let's go. Putting it in the mount right now. So give me a second. All right, I am in uh, two wheel drive, not four wheel drive. And I am going all the way to the left. I'm not even putting on the brake right now. I am just doing a donut. Let's see what kind of clearance I can get out of this. <laughs> it's, it's struggling a little bit with the uh, uh, getting traction in two wheel drive, but I am definitely doing donuts. I'm gonna flip around and try to do it the other way. I don't wanna get too close to my uh, nephew. So I'm gonna stop for a second. Let's see if he comes by. All right, he's right there. He liked it. All right. Okay. Maybe we'll be able to do this at the end as well. So. All right, so we're gonna do the gear shifting now, so you can see what I'm doing. Um, I don't know if you can kind of zoom in there. If you put on the lights. Yep, I got it. You can see my foot is on the brake. The other, you can see the accelerator on the right, and you can also see the clutch on the left, left foot on the clutch right now, yep. right foot on the brake. Mm -hmm. I'm pushing the clutch all the way down. Yeah. Now back up here. Okay. I'm gonna put this into first gear. Yeah. So on a Bronco, you just push it to the left mm -hmm. and forward. Okay. Okay, now, if you can get back into seeing yep. my feet. Yep. What I'm doing is I'm going to accelerate with my left foot. Yeah. I'm sorry, with my right foot. Yeah. And let go with my left foot. Okay. Until the car starts moving. Okay. All right, so now I'm in first gear. Okay. And I'm cruising along in first gear. 
and I'm going to go back onto this little trail here. And now we are going to put it into second gear. Same thing. I push the clutch down. I put it into second gear. Yeah. Then I put the accelerator down while I push the clutch up. Okay. Accelerator down, clutch up. Yep. Now we are going to spin around. Okay. The other way. Hopefully I don't go into the river. Ooh. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. So we're going to do the we're going to just do very simple stuff right now. I'm going to show Armand. It's probably going to be a little bit of a um yeah, I might stall. That's okay. I stalled the first few times that I did this. No problem. So All right. We'll stop right here and we'll switch places. Okay. All right. See you there. All right. Here's the front facing view. Here's Armand in the driver's seat. Do you need to adjust anything? Are you okay with the mirrors? Uh, or I might need to be a little higher. Um, okay, all right, uh, we'll fix that. Okay, so it's on and everything? All right, yep, we've got the mirrors adjusted. Armand's in the driver's seat. Mm -hmm. He is currently, we are in first gear right now. He's putting on his seat belt. Um, let's see how closely I can get to his feet. Look at those uh, shoes, first of all, that's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Look at how the, look at how the uh, Nike's dripping there. So, all right, now go ahead, put, push your foot all the way, left foot all the way down on the clutch. Okay. Right foot, put it all the way down on the brake. Okay. All right, now we are going to turn the car on. Okay, scoot up. There we go. Turn the car on. There okay, keep your feet right there. Yep. Now with the um, one thing about teaching. Uh, manual transmission, I should say this right now. It's a lot easier to figure out exactly what to do. We just stalled out, but that's okay. Uh, figure out what to do kind of intuitively than to explain it. Mm -hmm. So um, so what we're going to do, we just stalled out. That's okay. We're going to put this, we're going to put your feet. Uh, both on. Both on. Yeah. Uh -huh. turn, turn on the car again. There we go. Okay. Now, yeah, they're both on? Yep. Yeah. Put this one in in neutral which is just sort of in the middle so just kind of pull it and let go all right so you kind of feel okay now while you have everything uh you know you have both feet yeah down mm -hmm. go ahead and try to feel out the gears put it in first gear so you go to the left and straight up yeah okay now second gear you kind of pull it down a little bit and then uh, actually you pull it all the way down for yeah. second gear sorry there we go okay then third gear you kind of put it back into neutral yeah but no, then you go no. kind of straight up instead of left and there up. There we go. Uh, yep. Now, fourth gear, go straight down. back down. Yep. Fifth gear, put it in the middle. To the right, up. To the right, up. Yeah. And then sixth gear. Middle, or just down. No, sixth gear should be all the way to the right. Yeah, and down. And then down. Okay. Yep. All right, cool. Now, uh, now, put it back in neutral. Okay. Okay, now we're going to put it in first gear. Yep. Go ahead. Yep. All right, wait. Okay, let me show Okay. Got it. Uh, let, let, let's do that again because okay. I have the camera on it. Okay, let's okay, go ahead. So yep. right, left, and then up. Right. Yeah. Okay. Now, one thing on the Bronco, you see the R there? Yeah. So it's a little bit confusing. Yeah. You have to pull up on this collar okay. to, to put it in reverse or to get to that C, oh. which is crawler gear. Okay. I'm going to show you crawler gear in a minute. Okay. But first, let's just do, we're only going to do first gear here. This is just kind of a, just to kind of get going. Uh -huh. um, what you want to do is you're going to let go of the brake, okay. which is your right foot. Yep. Got it. Okay. All right. Now, if you're on a big hill, your car will start to go backwards. So you, yeah. want, you want to be aware we're, we're pretty pretty much on flat land here. Yeah. Now, you want to push the accelerator a little bit. Okay. Accelerator. Okay. A little bit less. A little bit less. Okay. Now, slowly let go of the clutch. Slowly let, let go of the clutch. Let's see if I can get to your... And you're going to feel the there car going forward. Awesome. Yeah. There you go. All right. We're going to just stay in first gear. Okay. Should I just spin? Yeah. Uh, you can go to the right, though, okay. instead of left. Okay. Because I don't know what's over there. Okay. That is awesome. All right. You got it going in first gear. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I stalled out so okay. many times before being able to do that. Must be your see, teacher. That's I can, why. I, yeah. I can see why it's hard because you have to control both at the same time. But Yeah. Yeah. Go to the left. Go to the left. Okay. You don't want to go into this little area here. Follow the tracks. Okay. All right, so we're just going to go in first gear the whole way around. If you go too slow, it will stall out. 
So um, if you're going to brake and it's all the way to braking to, to zero miles Turn per right. hour, you've got to push the clutch down Lots. too. Lots. Yep. Okay, slow down, slow down. You don't want to get too close to this yeah. river. Yeah. All right. <laughs> there we go. All right. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm paying more attention to him <laughs> than I am the videoing. All right. All right. Okay. So now... We're, we're okay, we're doing fine. I'm gonna teach you crawler gear, so go ahead and stop, but push your clutch down and stop at the same time. Clutch and stop. Perfect, all right, so let's just see. Got one foot on the brake all the way down and then my left foot's on the clutch all the way down. And we're, we're still in first gear. Yeah. We didn't stall out here. Mm -hmm. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it into crawler gear. Okay. All right, crawler gear is, um, first let's put it in neutral. Okay, so crawler gear uh -huh. is very interesting because yeah. it is sort of like a cruise control. Uh -huh. So it kind of keeps your car at a, a, the Bronco at a uh, specific speed, about three miles per hour. Mm -hmm. You can actually speed it up to about six or seven. Yeah. Um, if you want, you want to first put it in 4H. So yeah. just push this button right here, 4H. Okay. Got it. Okay, in so now we're in 4H. Yeah. Okay, so you can kind of see, let's just see if I can zoom in on the can you zoom in on the 4h where you can see yep, it right there right there 4h yeah yep. okay cool all right so now what we're gonna do is you're gonna pull up on this collar yeah put it to the left and then down okay okay now we should be in crawler gear mm -hmm. you do that same thing where you put a little bit of acceleration okay. and you let go of the clutch okay so let go of the brake first yeah little bit of acceleration let go of the clutch okay now just stop okay let go of everything don't touch anything this car oh is just God. going three miles an hour this is crazy <laughs> uh uh he has no, no he, his his feet are not i don't know if you can move your knee a little bit okay. so we can kind of see yeah there we go he's not touching anything not the brake not the accelerator not the clutch. You yep. can see all three right there. Okay. Go ahead and go back on the track. Okay. Now you can push the accelerator a little bit. You, so it's going um, a little at faster. three miles per hour. Yeah. Okay. But you can make it go five or six. Yeah. Probably not much more than about five or six. This is designed to have super high torque. Yeah. And lets you get over anything. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. So this is like. Um, so like rocks. Yeah, like rocks or, or like, you know, if you're having trouble you can just put it in this crawler gear uh -huh. and it's slow, but it's putting all that power in that slow speed. What all if right. there was like a lot of snow? Could it get you out of the, would that be a good um, like mode to put it in crawler? Yeah, like if you're stuck, through. you could try that. Yeah. Um, okay, just you can give a little bit of accelerator if you want. Okay. All right, and what the other good thing about it is if somebody's learning how to drive a manual transmission, you don't have to worry about the clutch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so you can just kind of cruise along, learn how to drive, um, uh, not go at high speeds, uh -huh. but you do not want to have this crawler gear going for that long because uh, it takes a lot of power. It, it's really kind of, uh -huh. you know, using up the power in the, in the vehicle. So, all right. So now we're going to turn it around again. Okay. All right, and after you've turned the vehicle around, maybe about here is fine. Okay. We're Hold right near clutch. Custer time here in, in North. Okay, go ahead, push the clutch all the way down. Yeah. Push the brake all the way down. Yeah. All right, now we are in crawler gear. Yeah. Okay, um, let's put it in neutral. Okay, didn't stall out. I was, part of me was thinking, are we gonna stall out now? Maybe. <laughs> Am I explaining this right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now we're gonna put it back in first gear instead of crawler. The pro the challenge with first gear is that you've got to pay attention to the clutch if you're braking. Yeah. Uh huh. So it yeah. will stall out if you're going too slow. Yeah. Um. Uh. If you don't have the clutch down. So we're in first gear. Yeah. You can see that right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and push the accelerator. Okay. A little bit. Let go of the brake. And let go of the um, clutch. Clutch? A little okay. bit, right? So you put... Okay. So with that, you just learned how to... Stall, stall. out? Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
So I we're gonna fall all the way down on the brake. Now we're gonna start over. We just stalled. It's okay. Natural thing to happen. Go ahead and put that in neutral. Huh. Oh, wow. That's a kind of cool feature. It just turned on when you <laughs> put it in neutral. That's that's kind of cool. I didn't actually know that, that that happens. Okay. Okay. So now you've got your foot on the brake, brake yeah. and you've got your foot on the uh, accelerator or, or um, oh, I'm sorry, you have your foot on the clutch, okay. the left one, right? Is that correct? Uh, yeah, now I do. Oh, okay. You didn't have it before. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Then you have your other foot instead of on the brake. Let go. Yeah. Let's see if the car moves. Okay. Car's not moving. Yeah. Okay. Now you're going to put it on the clutch. Okay. I have it. I'm sorry. You're going to uh, put it on the accelerator. accelerator. Okay. Again, it's really hard to explain this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All right. Yeah, yeah. Now you push the accelerator, let go of the clutch. And we also have to turn the car a little bit to the left here so we don't go up into this. Give a little bit more power. Let go of the clutch a little bit. Oh, okay. Huh? Uh, okay. We, we, we forgot one thing. <laughs> we forgot to put it in gear. <laughs> oh my God. All right. So okay. uh, brake and <laughs> yeah. clutch okay. all the way down. Okay. Now first gear. For, put it in first gear. Right. Okay. Now. <laughs> all right. See, I'm telling you, it's it's hard it to explain. It is very this. hard to explain. Okay. Now, uh, uh, you want to put your foot on the accelerator. Yeah. Now do the same thing. A little bit. Thing. And let go of the clutch. There we go. Whoa, there you go. All right. Now, <laughs> we're going a little bit faster, and you got to kind of keep it up. Okay. Right? you got to keep the speed up. Okay. Um, we're probably not going to try second gear. It's the same process as you're going faster and faster. In this yeah. first lesson, we're just going to kind of stick to first gear. Um, main thing is to not stall out. So let's go ahead and do a little loop here. We're yeah. going to go back to where we were. All right. There's the bridge. The CrossFit bridge, I just remember it for CrossFit class. All right, okay, actually, we, we can go to second gear maybe. Okay. Uh, clutch all the way down. Yeah. Okay, put it in second gear right now. Okay. And then push the accelerator. Go ahead, second gear. Yeah. Push the accelerator, 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 mm -hmm. till it catches, yes. Oh, now okay. turn the car around again. Okay. All right, we're in second gear. So this means you gotta go a little bit, little bit, you know, a little bit more, um, Speed, you're okay if you're going eight miles an hour, it's fine. Yeah. In second gear, so. I think I was going faster. I was going like 10, 11 okay. when I started. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Let's go all the way around one more time. And then I think that's going to be our lesson for the day. I, I This is uh, amazing progress for the, f well, I think it's the second time, right? You you drove my Mustang yeah, one time. Yeah, but it wasn't a lot. It but it was like, just kind of down the, down the uh, cul-de-sac, yeah. right? So. Brake and yep. Okay, now put it in neutral so it doesn't stall. Okay, now one final thing. Mm -hmm. You see that's in 4H. Yep. Let's see if you can. I got it. You, yeah, I wanted to show show them. Okay, it's in 4H. Okay. Right. You got it. You got to get it to um, back to 2H. You don't want to drive on regular roads with four wheel drive. Push to 2H. There we go. Now right here it says 2H, right there. Okay, yeah. perfect. Uh Time for a donut.
All right, so after all that, we are stuck. Um, you can see here, I'm spinning wheels. All right, so we're gonna do the crawler. So we, we've got a solution. <laughs> yeah. so we're gonna, uh, Armand asked if the crawler gear works in situations like this. Let's just see for, oh wait, actually first I have to get in 4H. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna do 4L. Okay. 4L is one mile per hour. So it's okay. giving even more power. Crawl and crawl power. So we're gonna, yeah. we put in crawl. And we're out. <sighs> so we are going one mile an hour, but my wheels were spinning before. Got out of it. And we got out of it right away. Wow. It was like uh, instantaneous, so. The All crawler right. gear was the solution, <laughs> like I said. All right, cool. Yeah. we good. All right, we're currently in the Bronco right now and we're going to Zingerman's. And um, yeah, it's a beautiful sunset, beautiful day. Great day in the Bronco. And we'll, we'll see you there, you know, bye. Go. All right. All right, we've got a cool sunset here. Um, it's just setting over Ann Arbor, a little bit north of Ann Arbor, Dexter, or a um, uh, little bit north of Ann Arbor, I'm not exactly sure where. Uh, we are uh, headed to Zingerman's. I wanted to actually stay quiet for a second so you guys could hear. I'm going about 66 miles per hour. Um, I wanted you to hear the wind noise in this. Uh, I do get a lot of questions about what is it like with, with the wind noise. So I'm gonna just stay quiet. Looks like you can, uh, Armand's kind of doing our uh, a great view. front dash cam-ish kind of view, so that's kind of cool. Look at the hood, wow. You can see sort of the, the reflection is kind of cool too so 